A lot of you tagged me in this, so let's watch it together, even though the doctor has their duets off. A perfect example. Back into the OR, I was traveling for a conference. This is a patient with completely negative imaging. But, you know, as we look close, closely here, lesions here, multifocal, big lesion up there, lesion here, lesion. This is the, this is the rectosigmoid lesion, the rectum right here, lesion, lesion here. It was a big one right behind you, yeah, here, endometrium. This is the ovary. Let's flip the uterus forward, please. Endometriosis is here, pretty significant, I would say, on the bladder. Another big lesion here. So negative imaging does not mean that there's no endometriosis. And this, we need to acknowledge that very important concept. I know a lot of people are talking about this. That's exactly why I can't justify dropping $2,000 on a private MRI. And Brittany was so sweet to make me <laughs> go fund me for an MRI, but I just feel so guilty because I'm just afraid that it's going to show nothing's wrong with me and then it's like a huge waste of money, you know? I just gave my neighbor my french fries that I found out have garlic and onion in them, which was sad. People are saying that I can ask for a prescription to give the Tordal injection to myself, which they did want me to do with my B12 injections. You just go and get free needles from the pharmacist. But I don't think I'd be able to give myself a needle. I used to have, my neighbor was a nurse and she used to give them to me. But now my neighbor works for Nintendo, so... <laughs> He gives out these stickers, not injections. But also, Tordal's like a sketchy medication, man. You're not supposed to take it for long. But what the fuck? Also, why did the gastroenterologist not mention my rectum? Or the fact that my endoscopy biopsy came back with inflammation? And when I talked to the other gastroenterologist who did that endoscopy, he didn't say anything about it either. So is that normal? Yeah. What's wrong, kitten? Oh.